Good morning. This morning you will be listening to the Holy Liturgy broadcast from St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church of Youngstown, Ohio. Co-celebrants of this combined service of the three Greek churches in the area are Reverend George Pappas of Archangel Michael Greek Orthodox Church of Campbell and Reverend Demetrius Demetriadis of St. John's Greek Orthodox Church of Youngstown. Reverend George Hadges, pastor of St. Nicholas, is in the hospital recuperating from a recent operation and is therefore unable to be present. My name is Harry Michelle, and since the liturgy is conducted in the Greek language, I will interpret and add commentary from time to time. Since New Testament times, the liturgy has signified the divine Eucharist with the sacred preparation preceding it and the Holy Communion following. The Greek Orthodox liturgy is a mysterium or a sacrament that is a sacred mystical action between God and man. Number one, it is a remembrance of the life, the cross, and the burial, and the resurrection of our Lord, Jesus Christ. For in his words, do ye this in remembrance of me. Two, it is a sacrifice. As he said, this is my body, which for you is broken. This is my blood, which is shed for you and for many others. And three, it is a communion. Take, eat, drink of it ye all. In the performance of the liturgy, this sacred action is done in a rising climax. It begins with prayers, hymns, readings from the apostles and from the gospels, sermon, preparation and entrance with the holy gifts, and proceeds to the offering of them. The consecration and the tusiosis, called transubstantiation by the churches, though the meaning differs, the petition of forgiveness and holy communion. It ends with thanksgiving to God for his great gift and with a benediction upon the people. The liturgy of St. John Chrysostom is being used today as it is on most Sundays throughout the year. This liturgy dates from the fifth century AD. It is now in progress. God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us.
The cantor is now reading, preparing for the reading of the gospel. We have already had the entrance with the gospel. This act of worship symbolizes the coming of Christ, who is God's wisdom on earth. priest comes forth from the sanctuary bearing the gospel. And he is preceded by the altar boys holding candlesticks, facing the royal gate of the Iconostasium. He elevates the gospel and chants, Wisdom, let us arise. The priest inaudibly is reciting the following prayer, O merciful Master, cause the pure light of the knowledge of thee to shine in our hearts and open the eyes of our mind to perceive thy message of good tidings. Fill us with the fear of thy blessed commandment, that we trampling down our fleshly desires may seek a heavenly citizenship and may do and consider all those things that are well-pleasing to thee. For thou, Christ our God, art the source of light to our souls and bodies, and to thee we ascribe glory with thine eternal Father and thine all-holy, righteous and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and from all ages to all ages. Amen. <laughs> Hear the Holy Gospel, peace unto all, and the choir responds, and to thy spirit. <laughs> the reading from the Holy Gospel according to the Saint Luke, chapter 13, verse 10. The choir responds, Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Tu 
Priest is just in the prayer. Grant that being ever protected by thy power, to thee we may ascribe glory, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now ever and unto ages of ages. The priest senses the holy table and the people reciting inaudibly the 51st Psalm. Then he worships, asks forgiveness of God and men, and goes to the preparation table, the left of the sanctuary. This is all to precede the great entrance. present the cherubim, sing the thrice holy hymn to the life-giving trinity. Let us put away all worldly care so that we may receive the king of all. symbolizes the crucifixion and the burial of Christ. The priest will hold the chalice and the patent with the ire, a veil, over his shoulders as he will proceed from the sanctuary to before the iconostasium.
the use of the censer in the Eastern Orthodox Church is symbolic of the warmth of prayer, symbolized by the incense, with the incense rising as do prayers. said, May the Lord our God remember us all in his kingdom now and ever and unto ages of ages, and returned in the sanctuary, placing the holy gifts on the holy table and sensing them. Ah, 
και συμφέροντα τεστί και σημών. Και ειρήνη το κόσμο παρά του κυρίου έτησομεθα. At this point, the priests are asking various prayers that we may complete the remainder of our lives in peace and penitence. Let us entreat the Lord for things good and profitable unto our souls and for the peace of the world. Let us entreat the Lord for his forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions. Let us entreat the Lord. And the choir responds each time, grant this, O Lord. Christianata deli di zoi simon Ano di nane peskin dai di nika are leading us to the recitation of the creed. The priest prays, let us love one another that we may with one mind confess, and the choir answers, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Trinity one in substance and undivided. Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not made, co-substantial with the Father, through wisdom, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnated by the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary, and became man crucified for our salvation under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and was resurrected on the third day according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sat at the right hand of the Father. And he will return in glory to judge the living and the dead, whose reign will have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I await for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the ages to come. At this point, the priest has given St. Paul's beautiful benediction, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And the choir responds, and with thy spirit. Let us give thanks unto 
the Lord. This is my body, which for you is broken unto remission of sins. This is my blood of the New Testament, which for you and for many is shed unto remission of sins. Now the blessing of the sacred gifts. At this most sacred part of the Holy Liturgy, the priest prays inaudibly and invokes the Holy Spirit to come upon the precious gifts. He asks again we offer to thee this reasonable and bloodless service, and we ask and pray and supplicate, send down thy Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here presented, and make this bread the precious body of thy Christ, and that which is in this cup the precious blood of thy Christ changing them by thy Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. For it is here that the Orthodox Church believes that the wine and the bread become the blood and the body of Christ. And after the coming of the Holy Spirit to the precious gifts on the altar table, the priests fall to their knees. Before them is no longer the mere bread and wine, but the same body and the same blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The choir is singing, we play, praise thee, we bless thee, we give thanks unto thee, O Lord, and we entreat thee, O our God.
αρχιεπισκόπου ημών Ιακώβου, ον χάρισε τες Αγίας ο Εκκλησίας εν ειρήνη, στον έντιμον γιά μακροημερεύοντα, και όρθου του μούντα των λόγων της εις αληθείας. Εόν έκαστος κατανιών οι ανέχοι, και πόντων και πασών. Εδώ σημήν εν εν ειστόμας και μια καρδία, δοξάζειν και ανυμνήν το πάντημον και μεγαλοπρεπές ο νομάς σου, του Πατρός και του Ιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος, νυν και αΐ, και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Και έστε τα λέει του Μεγάλου Θεού και σωτήρος ημονής του Χριστού, με τα πάντων ημών. προσκομιστέντων και αγιαστένων μίων δώρων του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Όπως ο φιλάνθρωπος Θεός ημών μα προσδεξάμενος αυτοί το Άγιον και υπερουράνιον και νοερών ασουξιαστήριον και τον μην ευωδίας πνευματικής αν και καταφέρνει με την Θεοχώρη και την δωρεάν του Αγίου Πνεύματος Δεϊθόμεν. Entreating for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another for our whole life to Christ our God. And render us, O Master, worthy, that we may boldly without condemnation dare to call upon thee, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say, and now the congregation recites the Lord's Prayer. Ως και εμείς αφιεμέν στο φιλέτε σημών, και εμείς δεν έγκυς ημάς εις πειραγμόν, αλλά ρίσε ημάς από του πονηρού. Ότι σου εστίν η βασιλεία και η δύναμης και η δόξα, του Πατρός και του Ιού και του Άγιου Πνεύματος νυν και αΐ, και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. to all, and with thy spirit the choir responds. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. Χαρητή και κρεμής και φιλανθρωπία του μονινού σου Ιού με Θου ευλογή τόση, σύντο Παναγίο και αγαθό και ζωπιό σου πνεύμα την ειν και αΐ, και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Yeah.
Let us tend holy things unto the holy. And the choir sings, One is holy, one is Lord Jesus Christ. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. The choir now sings, Praise ye the Lord from the heavens. Hallelujah. The priests are now preparing to receive communion. They pray inaudibly. The fullness of the cup of faith and of the Holy Ghost Blessed is the ardor of thy saints now and forever and from all ages to all ages. I believe, O Lord, and confess that thou art verily the Christ, the Son of the living God, who didst come into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the chief. Also, I believe that this is thy sacred body and this thy precious blood. Therefore, I pray thee, have mercy upon me and pardon my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and in deed, both known and unknown and consider me worthy without condemnation to participate in thy sacred mysteries unto the remission of sins and unto life everlasting. Έτσι προσέρχομαι, Χριστό, το θανάτου Βασιλή και Θεού ημών, το τίμιον και πανάγιον σώμα του Κυρίου και Θεού και σωτηρός ημών Ιησού Χριστού, μετέδω τέμι Δημητρίο των Αξίων Ιερείς, άφεσήν μου αμαρτιών και η ζωήν την αιώνιον. Αμήν. We thank thee, O merciful Master and lover of our souls, for thou hast this day vouchsafed to give us thy heavenly and immortal mysteries. Direct us into the right way, strengthen all of us in thy fear. Watch over our life, make our footsteps safe through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Mother of God and ever Virgin Mary of all thy saints. Preparation is now being made for those 
of the congregation present today who would desire to take Holy Communion. At the end of the communion anthem, the priest will come forth holding the chalice and saying, with the fear of God, with faith and with love, draw near. If anyone desires to partake of the Holy Communion, he draws near at this time and he receives standing, not kneeling, saying in a low voice, Remember me, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. broadcast from St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church of Youngstown, Ohio. Participating in today's Sunday, the combined services of the three Greek Orthodox churches in the area are St. John's from Youngstown, Archangel Michael of Campbell, Ohio, and St. Nicholas of Youngstown. Two priests conducting the as co-celebrants today were Reverend George Pappas of Archangel Michael and Reverend Demetrius Demetriadis of St. John. Your narrator for today has been Harry Michelle. Dear God, on I give my dear Lord, my 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 Lord,